Welcome back to part two of the login and register script. Um, I just finished the other video, like literally maybe 20 seconds ago. So, yeah, let's get started. Uh, what we did last time, if you took a long break or something, or you're not even looking at the first one, we just uh, created a login.php. We made HTML and body tags, a uh, PHP tag right there. Uh, we have a form, a table, two, or a few table rows, and then a few TDs. And yeah. So now we're going to start with the PHP part of it. Uh, first, we're going to do session. No, we're going to do require connect.php, which basically says connect.php has to be in this for it to run. Uh, we'll create connect.php in a minute. Don't worry if you're refreshing the page now and it's saying connect.php does not exist or fatal error. Just don't worry about it yet. We're going to do session start just like that. Uh, this is basically starting a session if it's starting a session. And we're going to do a variable sesh ses user equals uh, at which um, takes away the notice for this a uh, dollar sign underscore session and then in uh, brackets and quotes we'll put username and then yeah so we're gonna now we're just gonna skip a few things and we're gonna type if uh, ses user meaning if there is already a session uh, we're gonna put in print uh, brackets and put uh, die user or you are already logged in there we go so now if we just now we need to create the connect.php page so I'm just gonna create a new PHP file and I'm gonna save it as connect.php in my PHP tutorials and everything like that connect.php and then we're just gonna go over to our nat database so mine's localhost slash php my admin eight minutes is not enough time I'm telling you um, and then I'm going to go to my privileges and I'm going to add a new user just for this and I'm gonna name this uh, tutorials I hope I already have one. I'll put uh, PHP tutorials. And then my host will be local, so it's just me who can access it. And I'll have no password on it. And then I'll check all for global privileges and I'll leave everything else the same. Now we have that. Let's go back to our database tab. And we're going to create a new database. And I'm going to name this PHP tutorials. And then we're going to create um, users. The user um, will be. We're going to create a new table called users. And we're going to have four fields for now. We can add more later if we need to, which we probably will, but not in this tutorial. So the first one will be ID. Let's just scroll over to where you see AI, A underscore I, which stands for auto increment check that just for the ID field and leave everything else the same for it um, now the next field will be username uh, make it var car uh, I'm not gonna put any lengths or values yet we'll do that later and the next do password also make that var char var car then next one will be join date we're also gonna have a last on date name that make that type date and it'll be in um, year dash month dash day I believe but we'll just hit save and this is not a number um, oh uh, the length and values of username just make it 25 and then for password make it 50 nothing more nothing less unless you just want to because we're gonna be MD 5 ing it which will it's like 35 characters, I'm not sure, but 50's uh, not too little. I know 25 is for sure, I've done that before. So now we have this. Um, let's go back to PHP Designer. 
and in connect.php we will do um, connect equals mysql connect and then localhost is my server uh, that my PHP or my databases are on and then PHP tutorials is my username and then I have a password so I'm just gonna leave that one blank and then we're gonna do mysql select underscore db and then the database I believe was users wait database is PHP tutorials table is uh, users so now you can just save that and you can exit it if you want I am going to and we have uh, like three more minutes uh, so let's just start writing more uh, we're gonna have this if um, and then we're gonna have an else we can we're not gonna have anything below the else or anything right here so you can just put that at the end we're gonna put if uh, submit which we're going to make right now so we're gonna have user name equals at dollar sign underscore post um, username that was the name of our uh, input type right here username then password and then submit so we have username password equals post password and then what did we have submit equals uh, post submit so just kind of save that and then if submit uh, and then we're gonna have this I'll show you okay so here's what will happen we'll echo out submitted and then if it's not work out not submitted submitted so now let's just come back here uh, I'll refresh this hit continue well I'm already logged in so that is an error uh, if you got that earlier and you were kinda worrying um, yeah don't worry <laughs> else if says user Oh, uh, okay. I already have a session. Um, it it's a session from earlier, so I'm just gonna uh, log out of that session really quick. Now I'm logged out. Hold on. Sorry. Here we go. Now it's not submitted. Oh. If submit yeah okay so basically it's telling us that oh okay well, we have to else right here no it's not really a problem as much as just being there I guess we can get rid of the else uh, we can just leave it to hopefully keep stuff less complicated and now if we just type in stuff and hit submit they'll say submitted or if we just hit submit it'll say submitted without us typing stuff but if we just go there, it's not submitted until we click submit or press enter. Okay, um, I'll see you next. Uh, I'll link part three here somewhere. You'll see it. I'll make it big. Huh. Probably in the middle or yeah. Anyways, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching.